Is your project ready to be uploaded on HIO? Then let me help you to turn your game page from looking like this to look amazing like this. And a small couple of notes, this video will be on the game page if you want to amplify your profile page, look in the description for a video I did in the past and the video is divided into parts so check the timestamp in the description below if you want to go to a specific part in the game page. I'm Sir Fadrek and I hope you're having a really nice day. Without further ado, let's get started. The game is as good as its title, so starting there is a really good point. So I will take my game Underloop to be our main example for this video. And Underloop is divided into two words. Under, which is the game is currently under the ground and it's looping around. So Underloop was the perfect combination of these two words. Next, let's move to the description of the game. Two types of description. The one that will stay in the profile page and it should be short and simple. So in my game, it's explore the looping underworld looking for your missing grandpa. It's short, it describes the game and describes a bit of the story for that game. Now let's move to the inside description which is a bit big and is the first thing the player will read about your game. And I follow simple rules about writing this description. I start by getting the game intro right. The game intro or the first part of my description will always start by a hook. So here, dive into the new adventure in the looping underworld. So it's hooking the player into, okay, I really like this game. I really want to know more about it. In the second paragraph, I talk about the main mechanics of the game. So here I mention the four torches that the player have to light to proceed or to move to the next area. Finally, I write the cold gameplay mechanics. So here you have meet unique characters and most importantly, don't get lost. So these are the core main mechanic of the game. Next, next, I talk about the controls. If the game is simple, please list them. It's just a couple of lines, so it's not really a problem. After that, I write about the collaboration, who I worked with on this game, and where from where I did take the art or the music and every asset I used in this game. Finally, this bit I really like to add in all my games is the tips and tricks part. Anyone got stuck in my game, he can simply go here, read it out, and have a clue what to do next and finally in the description is the install instruction here just list if, uh, if the game have some specific instruction about how to install the game so in my case you just unzip the file and open the exe and you can enjoy the game and this is basically how i write my descriptions let's take another example from my page like the game must team mine i just wrote in the description you can see you have to mine and smelt and sell this is the hook of the game uh, next, I add the main mechanic in the second paragraph, you get infinite time in the cave, down you'll have a time limit until the cave collapse, and so on. And finally, don't get crushed, this is the gore gameplay, you have to stay down for a limited amount of time until you go out. Next, I added the controls, they are pretty simple, I added them. After that, all the information that I need, from the devlog to the game main scene music, and finished with the install instruction. And this is simply how to write a perfect description and you can add all of this of course in the edit game of your game page. Now let's move to the screenshots. Screenshots are pretty important in your game so the player will see them and will see some sneak peeks from the game and you can add them in the description or add them in the screenshot bar in the edit game page. And of course don't forget when you go to the, your game page in the edit theme set them as sidebar not hidden because the auto thing is hidden and putting them in the sidebar really makes the game page looks amazing or really makes the game page looks amazing and make sure the screenshot is in high definition and taken in professional programs like fraps or obs and staying in the visual aspect of our game we need next the game image or the cover image and this will show on our profile in hio and this should be clear and nice and really have a really good hook for the game so the player will click on it and just enter the game page so without a good cover image you will not get a lot of visitors and the final piece of art that we need in our game page is the cover image or as they say in HIO the banner this image will sit on the top in our game page and be like exactly it's like a banner to our game so Please have your title in it, have a game title in it like mine, it's like Steam Mine, okay, and have the robot and all everything and Underloop and which have the, the boy of the game, the door, so this banner should look good. 
And if you're done with all the steps right now, our game page should look something like this. It's good, it's perfect, but now it's time to edit the theme and apply CSS to it and make it look amazing. Now let's get started on the most advanced part of our video. If you can look right now, we can see that the game page in HIO is divided to the middle part and the background behind. And our first trick here to make the middle part really pops out from the screen like in my case here under loop, I have like a small castle walls from the left and the right that really makes the scene or the middle part really stand out from the rest of the game page. And here I use this small image as a background and just duplicate it vertically. The HIO allow us to do that in the edit scene area right here. So now by having this and duplicating ver vertically, the middle ground or the middle page sounds really pops out. And we need to change the color of the background of the middle of the middle page to just accommodate the middle part of our image. And now, if you can see, it's really a way way better than having just a middle ground or the middle part floating around. Next trick, let's elevate the banner of the page. So the banner now is just stay in the top as a cover photo. For example, like a Facebook uh, page or just a YouTube channel. It's just a banner. So we go into Photoshop. Minimize the banner a bit and add a bit on the cool borders. And if you add it here right now in the game page, we can see it's way better to have the banner just sticking out like a castle in my game. Trick number three. If you have a WebGL build for your game, then add an embed background for that build. So game page will look a bit more cooler than just having a black screen with a play, play me button or play the game button. It's a small trick, but it does wonders. Now it's time to work on the font of the page. We need to set a cool color for we need to set a cool color for our font. In my case I chose white because it's really accommodate the background behind it. It's really good to choose a good size, not a really huge size, but not really small. And HIO allow us to choose any font we want from the Google font website. So we go to the Google font and try every single font we see to see which one of them is better accommodate to our game. So we just write our sentence here and you can see and just browse the fonts to see which one is the best. And after we choose something, we just go here in the fonts page in the edit theme and open the font, try to write its name, find it and preview it or just click on it to add it to our HIO page. Just choose any font you like, do some experiments and find the perfect font for your game using the Google font website, link in the description of course. And after following all the rules till now, our game page should look some it's nice, but I'm not finished yet. It's now for the most advanced, advanced, advanced part of our video, it's the ultra advanced part. It's time to add CSS to our page and make it really awesome. A small note, if you want to activate CSS for your profile page in HIO, make sure to email the support, I will leave all the information right now on the screen, pause the video if you want to copy them. And I will not explain what I wrote in CSS because if you want to explain that, it will need a whole video by itself. So I will link the code in the description below, you can copy it and modify it as you wish and I will put a cool link to learn CSS from. Now i have using CSS to add two main things. To make the align of the text be feel better and to add a custom cursor to our game as you can see here this cursor is amazing and to add a small background with some transparent and blur effects and adding a small border around the screenshots and the main webgl shots and the main webgl build and if you take a small look in the ss code we can find the cursor code and the body code and in post brackets we can find links for the image of the cursor and the image of the background. But how do we reach this? I will teach you now a small trick by pressing F12. It will open the inspector for our game page. Don't worry, it's pretty simple. We go to the source up top. Now we found the database of our page. Here we can just expand the image.h.zone and in each folder we will see all the images that is being used in our game page. And here we can locate the cursor image and the background image to add them in our CSS code to be worked. But oops, we can't find the images. Where are they? And how we could add them here? Again, let's do the small trick. We open the edit game, we go to the description, 
and upload the cursor image and the background save the game and let's get back to our edit scene and if you press and if you go right down we can find the two images but we don't need them here we go into f12 sources and now we can find the two images in the image.h.zone folder we find them we click that right now copy the url of those images and add them to the css in the edit scene we go down okay css we open it add cursor in the url between the double quotation we add the new cursor url and now we can just see okay the cursor is not now working and it changed but we don't need them in the description down below but don't worry because the CSS is using these two images you can safely now go to the edit game and delete them from the description and everything will work perfectly and you will still have them in the database because the CSS code is using them so how cool is that now we have a custom cursor in our game page IO and we have a cool background behind our cool middle part of the CSS I know this is a pretty much really advanced stuff and I didn't explain them very deeply because they will take a lot of time to explain thoroughly. In the end, before finishing everything, I need to mention two couple of plugins that will help you in your amazing work on your game at your page. First of all is Colorzilla, you can find it here, I'll put the link in the description. And this will help you get any color you want in the web page. And second plugin is the CSS Viewer. And this will help us to get any tag for classes and ideas for every part of the HIO page and this will help you to locate which class that you want to improve using CSS. As I said, CSS is a pretty cool language and it's pretty easy to learn. I will put links in the description to learn them and you can just copy and paste my code to see the instant changes that will happen the instant changes that will happen to your site. As you can see right now with CSS and without it really makes a difference and really makes the game or the game page look more alive and more professional and yeah the game page really do look good you can see here in my underloop page it's pretty nice clean and professional and in, in my steam mine page it looks great as well so, wow this was a really nice adventure and really nice quest and it's been a while since i did a really long video i hope you really enjoyed this full review on how to create a really cool game page and if you just followed this guide and improved on your game pages, put the links in the comments down below and let's check them out and let's ask me any question you like and I will be there to answer. You can reach me over on Discord if you like to join our kingdom, have chats, fun and just enjoy a good company. But in the end, after this fully amazing to like, share and subscribe and see you all in the next adventure.